My name is Brian Martin. I am the Chief Operating Officer at Caliper, and I've been at Caliper for 24 years. I started at Caliper when I was 12 years old. Just kidding. I actually started at Caliper really young, in my early, early 20s. I thought it was a great place to work because it cares about people, and the people are more like a family here. And my family is very important to me. I see the people around me as an extension of that. I don't see that there's a work-life balance. I see that work and life are actually integrated. The values that I carry forward from my personal life are the same values I carry into the workplace. For me, being healthy is really important because when you have a family, and I actually have a fairly large family, I have six children, and it's really important that I spend time with them. It really hits you when you get into your 40s and you move into your late 40s and as you approach 50, and they call this your midlife crisis, but I like to think of it as like a midlife time of reflection, that you can look back and you can see what have you done so far, and then what do you plan to do with the second half of your life? Your health is the most important thing to you because without that you really can't do anything else. There was a time when I was quite larger than what I am right now. What I found was I gained weight with my wife every time she had, she had a, a, a child and I really was not healthy. I didn't feel healthy, I didn't feel like I could go into work uh, and give my best effort. I couldn't do activities I like to do. About two years ago, I made a choice that I was going to try to be more healthy and I was going to try to integrate exercise into my daily routines. For, for my 20th anniversary here, I ended up getting as a gift from Caliper uh, a mountain bike. So on a weekend, I finally decided, well, let me try to ride my bike to the office and see what happens. So I got up real early on a Saturday one morning and I hopped on my bike and I rode to the office. So ever since that time, I've been riding my bike to work. One of the things I did when I took over as one of the uh, senior leaders here at Caliper is I really wanted the employees to feel like they were really valued. Any company, whether it's Caliper or anywhere else, um, getting your employees together in ways that they're not typically working together is a, great, is a great opportunity for them to bond. It makes people feel engaged. It makes people feel like they're part of something. And I think that's really important to them. We don't charge for coffee. We added an espresso machine, which is pretty cool. Bananas are constantly available. And then there's a rotation of apples, plums, peaches, whatever's in season, salads at lunch, and other healthy options for people to uh, be able to eat here at work. In addition, we wanted people to get up from their desk and walk around. So we chose to actually put the kitchen on another floor that forces the majority of people to actually go up the staircase to go get their lunch or to go get food. And then we built in standing desks. We find that it helps people to stand up all day. They get a little bit more exercise out of it. Your muscles are working a little bit more. And some people have gotten really crazy. So this is funny. Um, somebody put a standing elliptical in their desk. So they have a standing desk and they do standing elliptical while they're working. It's really weird though, because as you're walking around the cubicles, you see this person's head popping up and down, up and down um, as they're doing work. Uh, so it's really, it's really funny. The most recent thing that we've done is this, uh, what we call the step challenge. We've enrolled everybody in the company. Everybody's been put into teams of 10. Because it's a six week challenge, we're trying to create a healthy habit because we know that habits don't form overnight. We've been at it for about a week now and they're crazy, like it's so nuts. Everybody has really embraced this. They're all comparing you know, their team to the next team and they're like, we're gonna get you and, and we're gonna beat you. So it's really exciting. Fitness challenges on a regular basis are always, and, and whether you're tracking them on Excel or through a, you know, through a program, depending on what your budget is, there's always an opportunity to get people up and get moving. You're competitive, Michael? I'm very Are you really? Yes. But I haven't entered any of my, my steps, so I have to do that. It's on my phone, so. Like the bar, or the pace thing on the leaderboard, and then make. If a lot of companies just ask their healthcare carriers, what do you guys have? They want individuals to be healthier because utilization goes down. They, they'll make more money, but uh, the money is probably the least critical factor. I think the most important factor is the community elements, the collaboration, um, people feeling engaged. So if we can provide that, all the better.